I'd like to tell you about the strangest secret in the world. Success is the progressive realization of a worthy ideal. What's wrong with men today? Men simply don't think. It's about this that I want to talk with you. Men simply don't think. We live today in a golden age. This is an era that man has looked forward to, dreamed of, and worked toward for thousands of years. But since it's here, we pretty well take it for granted. We in America are particularly fortunate to live in the richest land that ever existed on the face of the earth, a land of abundant opportunity for everyone. But do you know what happens? Well, let's take a hundred men who start even at the age of 25. Do you have any idea what will happen to those men by the time they're 65? These 100 men who all start even at the age of 25 believe they're going to be successful. If you ask any one of these men if he wanted to be a success, he'd tell you he did. And you'd notice that he was eager toward life, that there was a certain sparkle to his eye, an erectness to his carriage, and life seemed like a pretty interesting adventure to him. But by the time they're 65, one will be rich. Four will be financially independent. Five will still be working. Fifty-four will be broke. Men simply don't think. Men simply don't think. Now think a moment. Out of the 100, only five make the grade. Now why do so many fail? Men simply don't think. What has happened to the sparkle that was there when they were 25? What's become of the dreams, the hopes, the plans? And why is there such a large disparity between what these men intended to do and what they actually accomplished? When we say about 5% achieve success, we have to define success. And here's the best definition I've ever been able to find. Success is the progressive realization of a worthy ideal. If a man is working toward a predetermined goal and knows where he's going, that man is a success. If he's not doing that, he's a failure. Success is the progressive realization of a worthy ideal. The opposite of courage in our society is not cowardice. It is conformity, conformity, conformity. Men simply don't think. And there you have the trouble today. It's conformity. People acting like everyone else without knowing why, without knowing where they're going. Men simply don't think. Now think of it. In America right now, men simply don't think. And most of them are broke. They're dependent on someone else for life's necessities. Now we learn to read by the time we're seven. We learn to make a living by the time we're 25. Usually by that time, we're not only making a living, we're supporting a family. And yet by the time we're 65, we haven't learned how to become financially independent in the richest land that has ever been known. Why? We conform. Men simply don't think. And the trouble is that we're acting like the wrong percentage group, the 95 who don't succeed. Now why do these people conform? Well, they really don't know. These people believe that their lives are shaped by circumstances, by things that happen to them, by exterior forces. They're outer-directed people. A survey was made one time that covered a lot of men, working men, and these men were asked, Why do you work? Why do you get up in the morning? Nineteen out of twenty had no idea. If you ask them, they'll say, Well, everyone goes to work in the morning, and that's the reason they do it, because everyone else is doing it. Men simply don't think. Now, let's get back to our definition of success. Who succeeds? The only person who succeeds is the person who is progressively realizing a worthy ideal. If the person who says, I'm going to become this and then begins to work toward that goal, I'll tell you who the successful people are. A success is the school teacher who's teaching school because that's what he or she wants to do. The success is the woman who's a wife and mother because she wanted to become a wife and mother and is doing a good job of it. The success is the man who runs the corner gas station because that was his dream, that's what he wanted to do. The success is the successful salesman who wants to become a top-notch salesman and grow and build with his organization. A success is anyone who is doing deliberately a predetermined job because that's what he decided to do deliberately, but only one out of 20 does that. That's why today there isn't really any competition unless we make it for ourselves. Instead of competing, all we have to do is create. Men simply don't think. All we have to do is create. You know, for 20 years, I looked for the key which would determine what would happen to a human being. Was there a key I wanted to know which would make the future a promise that we could foretell to a large extent? Was there a key that would guarantee a person's becoming successful if he only knew about it and knew how to use it? Well, there is such a key, and I've found it. All we have to do is create. Have you ever wondered why so many men work so hard and honestly without ever achieving anything in particular? And others don't seem to work hard and yet seem to get everything? They seem to have that magic touch. You've heard them say that about someone. Everything he touches turns to gold. And have you ever noticed that a man who becomes successful tends to continue to become successful? And on the other hand, have you noticed how a man who's a failure tends to continue to fail? Well, it's because of goals. 
Some of us have goals, some don't. People with goals succeed because they know where they're going. It's that simple. All we have to do is create. Think of a ship leaving a harbor, and think of it with a complete voyage mapped out and planned. The captain and crew know exactly where it's going and how long it'll take. It has a definite goal. Now, 9,999 times out of 10,000, it will get to where it started out to get. Now, let's take another ship, just like the first, only let's not put a crew on it or a captain at the helm. Let's give it no aiming point, no goal, no destination. We just start the engines and let it go. I think you agree with me that if it gets out of the harbor at all, it will either sink or wind up on some deserted beach in derelict. It can't go any place because it has no destination and no guidance, and it's the same with a human being. Now let's get back to the strangest secret in the world, the story that I wanted to tell you today. Why do men with goals succeed in life and men without them fail? Well, let me tell you something which, if you really understand it, will alter your life immediately. If you understand completely what I'm going to tell you from this moment on, your life will never be the same again. You will suddenly find that good luck just seems to be attracted to you. The things you want just seem to fall in line, and from now on you won't have the problems, the worries, the gnawing lump of anxiety that perhaps you've experienced before. Doubt, fear, or well, everything's things of the past. Here's the key to success, and the key to failure. We become what we think about. All we have to do is create. Now let me say that again. We become what we think about. All we have to do is create. Throughout all history, the great wise men and teachers, philosophers and prophets have disagreed with one another on many different things. It's only on this one point that they are in complete and unanimous agreement. A man's life is what his thoughts make of it. Everything comes if a man will only wait. I brought myself by long meditation to the conviction that a human being with a settled purpose must accomplish it, and that nothing can resist a will that will stake even existence for its fulfillment. A man is what he thinks about all day long. Human beings can alter their lives by altering their attitudes of mind. We need only in cold blood act as if the thing in question were real, and it will become infallibly real by growing into such a connection with our life that it will become real. It will become so knit with habit and emotion that our interest in it will be those which characterize belief. If you only care enough for a result, you will almost certainly attain it. If you wish to be rich, you will be rich. If you wish to be learned, you will be learned. If you wish to be good, you will be good. Only you must then really wish these things and wish them exclusively, and not wish at the same time a hundred other incompatible things just as strongly. All we have to do is create. If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. This is one of the greatest laws in the universe. Fervently do I wish I had discovered it as a very young man. It dawned upon me much later in life, and I found it to be one of the greatest, if not my greatest discovery outside of my relationship to God. The great law, briefly and simply stated, is that if you think in negative terms, you will get negative results. If you think in positive terms, you will achieve positive results. That is the simple fact, the basis of an astonishing law of prosperity and success. In three words, believe and succeed. All we have to do is create. Men simply don't think. All we have to do is create. Like eight foot tall giant right now. They're too loose. 
Is that for like a so big this, person? No. Uh, maybe I have to wear pants. Oh, yeah. That'd probably do it. Yeah, that'd probably throw your knees Because you up. can't have this loose. It's because then it's wiggling and it's losing yeah, your balance. Yeah, then you'll fall down. Yeah. So Diamond is going to be the guinea pig for the gazelles. He's used to falling down. So. <laughs> supposed to be like that, though. <laughs> I think I gotta have good boots on, like skiing. Yeah. I'm sure they got straps, like the the ratchet straps. <laughs> and then there's those dingies down there for later. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drive in the dune buggies, and Diamond's gonna follow along in his gazelles at a top speed of 40 miles an hour. That's pretty good. He's already up and going. Look. And he said they're not even tight, right? Oh, now he's, he's picking up speed, ladies and gentlemen. And that is how you don't get ticks, right there. Dick Walker. <laughs> I'm to walk where I won't fall down and cut my neck off. Right. <laughs> how the fuck do you get down? That's going to be a tough landing. I think you just have to do like you started and go up against the wall. Kind of slide down on the bench. And then there's Elijah. The chicken master. That's what they call me. I'm a legend. Chicken Chickenology. Sounds more something like, you know, women related. Oh, yeah, I mean. Yeah, right. Let's get the downhill. You got to run downhill now and then. Even Evil Knievel don't have shit on Diamond. Look, he would have never thought of wearing gazelles. <laughs> Mark it, uh... Up, up a ways? No, right here so people can come through if they come in. You, you want me to drive the girl one? Yeah, the girl one you want. <laughs> Turbo Classic Badass Buggy Can Am Super Duper Super Duper Shit. Here goes Diamond off there. Let's see who wrecks it first. There we go. Look at my ugly stuff.
So it, that's not a bad hike. And I don't want to break the rules because it's like 16 that out. You know? For sure. But it, would it takes over an hour to take a truck there. It took us just a few minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Do you see the shit we came through? You couldn't get a truck here. Nah, that was cool shit. <laughs> These things are My thing got oh. a little dusty. These things. Yeah, yeah I mean, you look. can drive on the moon with these. You gotta turn that up. Yeah, these are moon buggies. <laughs> <laughs> At 60. This thing actually has a good mic when it's not in that stupid thing. I bet that whole trip, all you hear, you just hear noise and it vibrating. But this is, this is clear. Yeah. I think, but that should have recorded the audio from him explaining all that as well. So. Well, after I got it out of the case. Oh, cool. So that should. Be <laughs> oh, this one. Game. Right. That should be. I'm gonna game. do it again on my camera as we go up. Awesome. Yeah, I'm just gonna finish the battery out that way then. Awesome. This is like easy recording with these like this. I mean, unless you drop it. I didn't bring it with me, but I have one of those gimbals that... Oh, uh, to make it make smooth? It, yeah, steady and smooth. Yeah, we'll, we'll just do the shaky shit. Okay. Alright, let me get my um, drinking container. Wow, that thing like aged 10 years on that trip. <laughs> It's camouflage now. Check it out. I'm just kidding. I've had it that dirty before. And then we got the super duper drone over here. So I left all my toys. He's got that yellow. This, he's um, got the space age Sputnik looking giant one. That yellow box in that car has the other drone in it as well. Also. That's full battery. Yeah, this is the big brother of the one I have. Here's all our lens filters. Oh wow! Now it's now it's getting technical. I don't even know how to use that stuff. This is the DJI Mavic Premium. With the Hasselblad camera. Yeah, look at that. Nobody has any bugs, does I don't. Don't use it. I I go ahead and risk just getting the. Uh, Whatever it is, whatever we're getting from the bugs. <laughs> Look at all the grasshoppers up here, man. That's pretty trippy. Look at that. You can't do this with some cameras, though. Look at all those little shits jumping everywhere. Look, there's one right there. I didn't have the grass in the way. Oh, look at this orange look. I got one magnum bear spray. You got bear spray? Yeah. You think we'll need that? It, it's the right time of year. You never know. It's real wet here, so they bear spray. Okay, so if you see me running backwards from these like purple this grasses is the only right place, here. Place bear are, so they're only in our front yard on the river, which is this is right here. You talking about yard. black bear? Real big black bear. Yeah. Blonde face. Alright, I got you. We have that where we live as well, but they only come down when they're hungry, really, like to yeah, it's around bad. the bottom. We'll find them. There's berries where we're going. So. Awesome. Let me set up my tobacco here before we start walking. That, you're taking the keys, Greg? Uh, we can take the keys, yeah. <laughs> make sure they're still here. That's a good idea. There's a one in a billion chance someone can make it here. What's that? If there was a desperate person lost, walking if the hills here, have eyes, guys will just pop out as soon as we leave and go, oh, look what we got now. We're now 34 miles in. Oh, they live out here. Country up here, though. All the drugs and shit. 
I don't think you understand what the view at the top is going to be. <laughs> You're going to see the whole Rocky Mountains and into New Mexico and everything. To Durango. Yeah, I'm going to bring a couple of memory cards just in case. And I'll just bring this kit. And that's where we want to launch the drone up top. Because you want to yeah. drop off, we're going to be in my front yard. It drops off 600 feet right off that cliff. Yeah, you don't want a shot of us climbing. Then you can land it in the front yard and leave it there and we'll get it when we get back. I don't have it Oh. Or if you do. Huh? Uh, yeah, I brought two of them with me. Is um, it worth carrying? Is it light? Yeah, they're really light. Because that's about a half a mile we're going to the top. There's my controller. And then the drone and all the batteries. Fit in this bag. I was going to send it up and get a shot of us climbing. Oh, dude, we can make the killerest video. Like us setting up up this hill with the color, the grasses. Right. Yeah, this is an awesome spot. I didn't bring that thing, though. This is where you're, you're supposed to be horseback riding naked. <laughs> Swedish chicks. The naked Swedish chick. So I put Horse stage riding. on my legs and there's no bugs. No? Yeah, so it's all the whole way up. Good to deal. The sage here. Good to know. Yep. You need help with anything? See, I, I thought we were going to be doing this, so this is what I brought. We have so many different cameras, it's awesome. Which makes cool little movies, but yeah, I did want to fly the drone off the top there, but I did not bring it. Here, you guys hang out with the grasshoppers over here. So I'll try that out just for my arms. Well, you want the wetness out of it, or just the scent, the oil, essential oil? Look, Gremlin would be all over that. Yeah. yeah. You only like that one spot anyway. Where's the camera? Yeah, there's that sensor. All right, check it out. Nasty. Hold it, can you just hover it there? Can you hover it back at you? Bring it back to you? Look. Cool, now I'm behind it. Look at that stuff. Ready? Yep. <coughs> there it is. It's the drone apocalypse. Yeah, that is an awesome view right there even. Just the cool grass. And this is this is the cool way to record in style though. See it's miniature. I mean, it's the old one, but still. 1080, look at the beautiful grass. We can do the hover shot with all the millions of little grasshoppers. Look at that. So we're walking up the edge of an ancient glacial lake. Oh, this I is see. Valle Seco. I see cool flowers. Yeah, this is the dry lake now. It used to be filled with water. And we're actually walking up the edge of the lake. Which drained into three canyons. Permaculture farm eight or nine thousand years ago. Look at those orange flowers. Cold dude. Canyon. So at the top we should find some Indian artifacts and evidence of occupation, I would imagine. Stick with us. Look at this. Big Machu Picchu. Just keep going look at, up. Look at this. Oh, check out the Indian paintbrush. That has gotta Amazing. be awesome. There's some more up here. Is that a little lupine? That's cool.
poop in here. <coughs> oh no, it's a tree. <laughs> Do you have like a locator on you? Check this out. That is awesome. Right? Check out this whole rock formation up here. What a cool thing, huh? And there's this cool stone here. Look at that. Pretty cool. Oh, I was tripping on the stones up here. Man, I hope we have a trap. We can go down in like 10 minutes. Yeah, it's easy right there. It's a little meadow. You land it for battery purposes? Yeah, I still have three quarters. Of awesome. Plus two more batteries. Mosquitoes love me more than they do you, don't they? No, I think I got bit a couple times. See, there was one right there. Yeah, they love me. It's that yellow. No, I don't know. I'm just kidding. I think they go after your breath. I smell dead. They don't want nothing to do with me, I guess. No, they've been, I think they've been tagging my neck. I forgot to put the sage on my neck. Yeah, this is a cool little ridge up here. Lots of rocks up on the top to do stuff with. What were you yeah, saying? It's I like a, a dock? Now, so I'm like lost. So maybe if we walk on the spine, then we have to go all over there. That would be the front line. So this is the end of cold This is the end of the road. Out. Then we have to go all the way. Oops. A lot of building material up on the top. What were you saying? It was like a dock over here? Is this where the lake people came? So we go over on that spine and then walk the spine up. Right. Are you guys down with that? Cool. You got water and food? I got water. And there's plenty of pine nuts out here. No, just kidding. I'm, I'm still full of dinner from the last couple days. It's still burning off. Right? <laughs> Which one's better, the slippers or the flip-flops? I'd rather have the flip-flops. You, you feel like you're more in control? No, the slippers don't have soles on them. It's just a piece of rubber under my foot. I got gotcha. you. The flip-flops are actually padded. So all these rocks under my feet. I'm feeling a lot more with the slippers. I, I feel like it. I feel it within the sole of my foot. Hopefully it toughens my feet up so I can go barefoot more often. Right? This mic set might sound weird on this because it looks like I dropped an LED light out of this case. Mm -hmm. So it's probably got two holes for the mic. It may sound bizarre. Look at that tree. Oh, wow. 
nice tree here it's just like solid and look at look at the puzzle piece bark right it's kind of squatchy he said get a lot of interference inside the forest in here you guys should check out his channel when you watch this he's he's like just up and coming but look he already has all of the Batman toys weed eaters y todo. Let's stay higher. look it's like the lawn crew he's got the uh, lime green on and he he weed eated when he started it Ow. All right, down to one third of a battery here. Maybe I'll pause it until something interesting happens or one of us fall down. Knock on wood. that all right we'll be back after these messages brought to you by our, our sponsors right all right Rabbits in there. That's a good cool entryway right there too. Go the way the rabbit. The There's way of the rabbit. Down. Break off some of this and let the seal in here. There you go. Right above a hole. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Now we got a ceiling up in this little nature room here. We have a, a joint or drug packable? It's 420 time on 420 TV right now. <coughs> really Maybe. Like five eighths of the way there. He, this guy's the equipment guy this time, so we're relying on him. That looks like some kind of space age technology. We'll have to cut dead. and come back. You hear that thunder? We can use manual technology. Look at that cool shit.
Mariposa now. What is this? Mariposa lily. those too where I live. And then the pear cactus is moving up here because it's so warm up here. <coughs> Rex and I were on that and they're cliff dwellings right on the left side. Wow, that's cool as shit. And it's privately owned. But there's a road you can get to from the valley that takes you up top and around. And I know where there's cliff dwellings right over there. Look at all of them down there. See all those flowers down that way? There's like a field of them right there. Oh man, I wish we had a clear and what are these? These are cool as shit. Field? That space age shit. <laughs> Look at these purple things. Right here. Look. Look at all of them. How cool is that? They just keep going back in the forest. That is cool shit, man. See all the little purple you see shit? The trailer down there? Uh -uh. Oh yeah, I can see all that stuff. My, <laughs> there's my truck. It's all down there. Yeah, this is where you fly the drone off, right here. Yeah, it drops right off the cliff. I'll show you. We'll walk hike down and look off the cliff. It makes its vertigo. It's awesome. You ready to fly your drone now? There you go, there's the drop off, like right there. Beep, boom. Look at all the. Um, they were making shit up here, so this entire area, and then like that is. When did this get up here? Holy shit. That's old. Yeah. That's from the 50s, 40s? It's at least Pleistocene, I'm thinking. Now, this is a good, really good. <laughs> there is lot, lots lots of poop, so lots of things come up here to the top of the world Look to ponder things. Sea pod oh here. wow, that is cool. You well, can help you can help this blowing. out by blowing it off the cliff right now. See, and you take this and you help nature by just blowing it away. Awesome. A whole assemblage. That is cool right there. A whole assemblage. Look at the color of this. Wow. Completely crystal clear. It looks like a shark's tooth they were trying to make. That is cool as shit. Look at that. A whole assemblage. Look, and there's more. There's even the darker color. Yeah. Holy crap, holy. Amazing. One spot. Five shards. All right. That's incredible. That shark's tooth is keeper, man. All day. You want an artifact, man? Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Boom! 
That's the one right there. Shark tooth. That is. It does look like a shark tooth. Yeah, that's cool. That is. Look, they were working on this piece. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let me pause this live streaming the later live streaming the come out, it's gonna be at, at some other time so like, so like we're not live streaming, but we will be in the future. This is like time travel actually And I, this is cool this thing right here this, Boom, just look at all that purple. It's like a little path up here. It's a magical path We're gonna land on Mars with the ants See, if I was over there, you could fly your drone to me over there so that you wouldn't have to worry about flying it back, right? Or vice versa. Here's some stacked rocks with a bottle with what appears to be a bottle cap and some change and a pencil. Hey, are you supposed to write a note here? Guess not. It's got a pencil in there and some change. the moccasin hiker with us he hikes in moccasins and not the not the not the knee high ones but the just the slipper ones just it's for comfort That one red tree down there. See it? You don't have you don't have these where you live, huh? I don't like heights like that. Oh yeah, just stay up here. <laughs> yeah, I can see you just oopsie in right off of that, man. Yeah. So we came from way down there. Right there? Right down here. That is the utmost advantage of the It's not going to be pretty up here for this, but here it is. All those properties. You can see the whole valley. And 
that was three minutes and three thirty-three. So now, now, what about your flip-flops? Are you still? Uh oh, you dropped a bunch of stuff. Hold on, stop. Let's pause. We got drone parts and super dupers. I think that earns me a toke. I'm just joking. <laughs> Now's the right time to hit it. Almost another 420 clip there. Almost. 408. Is it on? Yeah, maybe. I got it. If it's on. Hard to tell. All right, let's go down the side of the mountain here, and hopefully we won't be one of those rocks we heard fall down last night. That won't be us. They already threw some shit down. Oh no! Oh, that moved. Check that out. Just throw this and we'll try to find it. Down there. No. <laughs> but it is pretty cool though. Top of the world. Yeah, this is where you launch your drone from right here. Isn't too windy? Yeah. yeah. It's just because this front is coupled us in a little
just hear that? All the little babies chirping? There's a bunch of them. It's like this one. Get high, get fucking high. Oh, do not die, do not fucking die.